Well, hello there. Happy Tuesday. I hope you had a marvelous Monday and are ready for a terrific Tuesday. So for the past week, we've been learning, or a few weeks, we've been learning about comparing within five for math. And we're going to continue that today. Here we go. Compare within five. Here we have a problem. It says, can each child get a balloon? Well, let's count how many children there are. I see one, two, three. So we have three children. How many balloons do we have? One, two. If each child were to get a balloon, how many balloons would we need? We would need three, and we only have two. So our answer is no. They cannot get a balloon. All right, here we have a dice and we need to show what's more and what's fewer than the dice at the top. So how many do we have? One, two, three, four. Well, let's start with fewer. What's something that's fewer than four? Well, I could count in my head to figure that out. One, two, three, four. So any number before the four is fewer. So I could, I'm gonna put three, because I know that three is one less than four. Now, what's more than four? Four, five. Five is one more than four. So here we have five. Let's try another one. Let's return all the circles. I'm going to put the four over here. And we have a new dice. How many is on this one? One, two, two. So what's fewer than two? I know that one less than two is one because when I count one, two, the one comes before the two. Now let's count to figure out what's more. One, two, three, four, five. So three, four, and five are all over two, or more than two. So I'm going to put four, because four is more than two. And so is three, and so is five. So there we go. All right, here we have three red cups and five blue plates. I want to know which is more. Well, I can see if I line up the cups to the plates, there are two more. So that means there are more plates than cups. Let's count the dots. One, two, three, four, five. There are five red dots. How many purple? One, two, three, four, five. There are also five purple dots. I'm going to circle both numbers because they are the same amount. They are both equal, which means the same amount. Now, and even though if we notice, the five dots are in different positions, but even though they're different, they still equal the same amount. They are both five. Show five. Now let's work on this one. I see one, two, three, four green, and one, two, three black. There are more green dots than there are black dots. Now it says, what does it mean for two groups to have an equal number of objects? Well, we know that this middle row shows an equal number of objects. And equal means that they're showing the same amount. They both have five. Which is greater? Well, what does greater mean? Greater also means more. So which one has more circles? We have four and we have five. Well, I notice that this one makes a box. 
these four circles. These four circles also make a box, but we have one more. So there are more black circles than there are green circles. So the five is greater. And that's the end of our slideshow for today. So now it's your turn to practice. You're gonna be able to practice and show me what you remember about comparing within five by completing one of your iReady practice activities. If you have any questions or need some help, I am always here to help out. You can always have a parent email me, text me, or give me a phone call. I'd be very, very happy to help. All right, I wish you good luck and I hope you have a terrific Tuesday. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.